Richard Southern joins us on this Thursday. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Thursday already. I'm good. How are you, Janella? Not too bad. Good to see you. So obviously these are unprecedented times. Lots of us working differently. You're working from home. And uh, it's the case for many people, even for the U.S. Supreme Court. Yeah, they, for the first time ever this week, Janella, heard arguments over the phone. They've never done this before. So here you have, you know, the highest, most prestigious court in the United States. They're having, you know, these very complicated uh, discussions over the phone. And then all of a sudden, you heard a distinct sound in the background that interrupted the lawyers and the judges. Uh-oh. Take a look. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. Take a listen. I'm going to be saying, hey, call your congressman and uh, change these laws that apply to banks. And what the FCC has said is that when the subject matter of the call ranges to the topic, then the call is transformed. And it's, it's yeah. a call that would have been allowed and it's no longer allowed. Did you oh, no. catch that, Janelle? <laughs> Little toilet flush? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> unknown source on that one. Uh, you know, the, the case they were discussing, uh, interestingly enough, concerned telephone consumer protection uh, about unwarranted, you know, automated calls. That's what they were talking about oh, boy. when someone clearly flushed the toilet, Janelle. <laughs> Hopefully, he was just on the phone near the washroom and uh, wasn't multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been multitasking. By the way, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who's in hospital now, yes. the, one of the justices, she was uh, on the phone listening to that from hospitals. So there, there you go. Wow. Uh, it gotta be, this is the dangers of working from home. We've heard people on Zoom calls accidentally going into the bathroom, too. you got to be careful. Yeah, there. I mean, I had, I had my dishwasher running on one of the Zoom calls. I had to pause it in the middle, but uh, no toilet flushing, I promise. Dangerous stuff. <laughs> okay, we are, as we said, living in strange times, and... Maybe there were some clues dropped from one TV show that seemed to predict all of this. They always do. The Simpsons has this crazy track record about predicting future events. This is one of the craziest ones. So I want to show you this episode from their fourth season. It, it revolves around a fictional Asian flu, a crowd demanding answers, and another component that's kind of part of our reality right now. Janella, this is from 1993. Take a look. We need a cure! <laughs> Why, the only cure is bed rest. Anything I give you would only be a placebo. Where do we get these placebos? Maybe there's some in this truck. <laughs> they they even they got the murder hornets, The bees, <laughs> the murder hornets. <laughs> That's uncanny. Of course, you know, the murder hornets, these big uh, hornets are supposed to be in North America, two inches long. Isn't that nuts, though? 1993, and they got they got the Asian flu, they got the murder hornets, and uh, the Simpsons are crazy. They even predicted Donald Trump, of course, his yeah. presidency, famously. So. Someone Pretty over crazy. there has got a crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly do. Seth Smith Farley, maybe I'll write him and ask him uh, what uh, what's in my future. <laughs> Matt Green, you got to get on that, Janelle. Let's see what's coming up in the future. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Richard. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.